Hey everyone, it's Ivan, thepatcher.com, out here, just on a mountain, hanging out with my minivan. You're like, Ivan, what are you doing up on a mountain with two dogs? Well, one is mine, the other watching for a friend. They're probably like, please don't kill my dog. But I ended up actually coming up filming. So I came up this morning, it's really cold up here, really icy, which is fine. I have a sweet minivan, front wheel drive, with good snow tires, and made it up to the top. Did not see any other vehicles except a quad with like tracks on it. But got up here, was able to do some filming, and then it was time to come down. It had definitely warmed up some. The sun was out a little bit ago. Don't try and sit on me. And um, yeah, coming down. Definitely snow is softer, lost my traction a little bit, and went into one of these really deep ruts, which is not a big deal unless you have the clearance of a minivan, which I happen to have. So, yeah, I've been here for a little bit. That was my shovel. By a little while, I mean probably about two hours now. Have I been using my time? I have. I pretty much immediately broke out my sweet shovel from Demos Collective and started moving snow. Lots and lots of snow. These guys were not a help at all. But um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I, well, what do I have in my car? All kinds of things to include gloves. So lessons learned. I'm like, ah, hopefully I'll be out of here quick but I wasn't. Definitely tore my hands up a little bit. Avoidable, could have put gloves on, that on me. But I of course have like food, water, snowshoes, warming layers, blankets, stuff to make fire, med gear, two dogs, all of the things. But yeah, I don't know, it happened. And it would probably not happened if I treated my minivan like a minivan, but I don't know. I like to push things. Is there any type of moral to this story? I don't know. I mean, there's always learning points. And so, yeah, was it risky coming up here? Absolutely. Was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, it was a calculated risk. Like, I don't need to pick up my boys today. So, non-issue. Don't really have any time constraint. And while I do have the tools to remedy to this, i.e. a shovel, and everything to keep me up here pretty comfortably for like another day or two, I'm just kind of bored of it and called my buddy who has a pretty sweet vehicle with a bunch of recovery gear. So I'm like, hey, do you mind coming up and helping me get unstuck? So it'll turn into a different type of adventure and we'll get to use some of his recovery gear. But I think there's definitely something to be said for having appropriate things in your vehicle, depending on the time of year. And I mean, that can be anything depending on where you are. Like maybe you're somewhere down south where it's really hot, probably want to have water, lots of water, like things break eventually. Or you just make choices that may or may not have outcomes that you may or may not want. In the case of a minivan up here, on this logging road. But ultimately, it's one more adventure. And I guess part of the reason for this video is, I don't know, like the reality of the situation. Like I always try and go cool places to go film. Don't film in a basement. And with that, there's definitely certain risks that I will take, calculated, albeit. And I guess another thing too is, it's pretty amazing. I actually only got stuck once this winter, aside from this time, even though it's like mid-April at this point. Uh, and that was actually coming up here. I was doing really good coming up. And I think it was right around here. I like turned the corner and there's a dude in a van, not a cool minivan, but like, a, like an install van. Think like a, 
I don't know, like a charter cable guy van or something like that. And somehow GPS routed him up here. He was totally stuck. And so of course I had to stop taking up the whole like road up. I couldn't go around him. So I had to back down, got stuck for a minute, busted out my shovel, got unstuck, and then helped him for probably about an hour get unstuck. And it's like, look, man, you're gonna need, like we'll get you back on like hard pack, hard pack snow, and you're gonna need to get yourself down the mountain backing up. He's like, okay which is the same thing I was going to have to do. And he promptly, like, five feet yeah. later, got stuck again. And he's like, oh, man, it's really hard to see out my, uh, like, backup camera. I'm like, well, you could definitely use those mirrors, but whatever. So at that point, I was kind of tired of doing that, and I obviously wasn't getting the filming done because I got stopped on the way up the mountain. So I was like, do you have someone coming? He's like, yeah, I got a tow truck, which I'm sure was really expensive. Quiet. And I was like, all right, good luck. Do you need anything, water, whatever? And he's like, no, I'm good. So I was like, farewell. But that was the only time I actually got stuck, which is kind of surprising. And part of it probably hinges on, even though I don't always drive my minivan like a minivan, I still kind of drive it like a minivan, whereas I can put up my VS17, is that right? VS17 panel? It might not have seen it though. But like, yes, I'm driving a minivan. I know I'm driving a minivan. And honestly, the Achilles heel on this thing, it's just ground clearance. Like I would not be here right now if I had better ground clearance on this vehicle, but it's what I got, so. Here I am. So I honestly sometimes just wonder if I didn't have a minivan and had a more capable vehicle, even like my old Trooper, which was pretty sweet, how much more would I get stuck with a arguably more capable vehicle? I don't know. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully I won't have to eat these dogs. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.